morning guys and as quickly as I fall asleep I wake up to do it all over again so <laughs> I usually wake up at five o'clock every morning my schedule during the week is as follows uh, from 5 to 6 30 I wake up and I come to my office and I work on random watch out keto stuff uh, at 6 30 is when I do my zip fish shake and get ready to exercise I exercise between like 7 and 7.45, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is when I start to get Milton and Madeline together. So I feed them. I get them all packed up to take them to my grandmother's house. Uh, and then I come home and take a shower and get ready for work. If I can sit down at my work desk by 9 a.m. Eastern, that is a good time. And I generally work from 9 to 6, 9 to 7. Sometime in there I will take... A break <laughs> I'll have some lunch maybe or I'll sit down and watch an hour of television even if I'm not eating <laughs> and then I watch TV from like 7 to 8 30 8 30 to 9 I start to fade <laughs> and go to sleep and I wake up to do it all over again so I have a pretty jam-packed day but it's fun and I get to do a lot of different stuff so right now I am editing yesterday's video and this is probably what I'm gonna be doing every morning around this time. Uh, I got a lot of t-shirt orders already like you guys. Oh my gosh, you're just the best. So you're gonna be seeing me make some shirts and ship some shirts over the next couple of days here. So I'm also getting all that done before seven o'clock because that's when I have to stop and start working out. Hashtag priorities. Oh, that's a doozy. Okay guys, just finished editing up my video from yesterday. I mean, the cool thing about like this whole Black Friday, Cyber Monday is that there are just so many deals and I just got an email from the Keto Crate people. They're having a sale that starts on today, Cyber Monday and goes all the way through tomorrow, the day you'll be watching this through midnight. 50% off your first month's Keto Crate. That is huge. Wow. You guys know I do Keto Crate unboxings and I do the whole Smash the Crate series with my mom. And you guys know I love the Keto Crate. Like even if I don't like the products in it sometimes, I love the principle of it, which is just getting to try a variety of keto snacks every month. So if you've ever wanted to try a Keto Crate, use the link below 50% off your first crate. I mean, that's a crazy deal. Ends today on Tuesday, the day you're watching this. So click the link below and let me know if you try it out. Like, I love the Keto Crate. I cannot wait for you to try it. When I tell you I can never find my bottle opener. Found a rogue one just laying around somewhere. Okay guys, editing time is done. Work time is just about done. So that means it is time to get to a different sort of work, which is working out. And today I'm going to be doing less meals. Shabam. On days when I'm really not feeling it or I'm coming off a holiday weekend like we just had, I want to do a workout that'll just transport me to a different place and that's always dancing. I'll start dancing, not realize what I'm doing, and 45 minutes later I look up and I had an awesome workout. So I'm doing less than a little shabam today, but before I do that, I gotta have my zip fizz. I gotta, I gotta do a little pre-dance. And today I am having, bam! orange soda. So guys, I got so low on Zip Fizz that like I actually had to buy the regular old combo pack from Costco. Like the one that has orange soda, fruit punch, and grape. So I have a good amount of those in my roulette, but now I need to like go on Sam's Club website and like spend $200 on Zip Fizz. Oh yeah. Oh, that was a good one. All right, guys, let's shake it in three, two, one. Oh, the body roll, where'd you come from? Oh. All right, to getting back into the swing of things, cause Christmas is like 20 days away, okay? We're back on track till Christmas. I'm saying that to all of us. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Classic. Maddie, Maddie. Hi, Tootie boy. Eat thirsty, Tootie. <laughs> I know. Give me Paul. Dag, Milton. Jeez, thirsty butt. 
Okay, Milton, sit back up. Come on. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. Milton, sit your butt. Good boy. I posted my first vlogmas today, like, already. That was, that felt good. Uh, good morning, Daphne. Amy says, always have to watch the replay, but today I finally caught you live. Well, that's awesome, Amy. I'm so glad that you caught me live as well. I go live every morning at 9.30 a.m. Good morning, Teal. Hola, Maria. Good morning, Dr. Wise. All right, guys, coming to sit at my desk. This is where the magic happens. This is where I do my day job. As you can see, it's not the same as my office downstairs. I actually work in a little corner of my living room just because downstairs I can never hear like delivery men or anything like that. So I work here. One of the questions that I got on my Vlogmas from yesterday was inquiring more about what I do for my day job or, or for work. So I work for a software company that sells other companies telecom expense management software. And we do this so that those other companies can do what they do best. For instance, Kroger is a grocery store. Ford is a car company. Univision is a television station. These companies all have like other things they do to make money, but paying your phone bill is an important part of making sure that your company operates properly. So that's when my company swoops in. It's like, hey, we can give you a piece of software to help you manage all of this stuff because depending on where you are as a company, you can have so many different telephone providers throughout the country. You can have Granite, you can have AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, CenturyLink, all these different things. And there's really no way to centralize all that information. So we provide that system and then we also provide service to go along with it. So not only do I just sell you a piece of software, but then I also come on to manage your account to help you use it. So it's like, Autumn, I need help doing this. Autumn, what does this button do? Autumn, where is this invoice? We need to pay it. <laughs> so basically I help my clients. I have like six of them as of right now. I help my clients use our software. I just lucked into it. I did not grow up saying, you know what I wanna be when I grow up? a telecom expense management software account manager. I didn't say that, but <laughs> I've been doing it for like 10 years. It's really the only real job I've ever had outside of college. I'm really good at it. I'm one of the best people in my entire company at it. So, I mean, I get to work in my house. I get to wear house shoes. Like, you know, I get to wear, you know, hoodies and t-shirts all day. Like it definitely has its perks. And this is what I plan to do until one day I can make enough from all of my other entrepreneurial endeavors to not, you know, have to work for the man anymore. But hey, if I have to work for the man, this guy's not too bad. So with that being said, I'm gonna get back to it. If you have any more questions, leave them below. But that's what I do every day. Okay, so on days where I'm fasting, like I can get really, really burnt out on work. Like I've literally been sitting here this whole time, like working. My emails haven't gone down. I don't know how that's the case. Like it's just anytime you clear any, new ones just keep coming. I digress. But now I'm gonna take me a 15 minute break. And on my breaks, I like to drink me some water and watch YouTube videos. Generally, it is Keto Connect, but today my BFF Chella aka Foodie Turn Sleevey has just released a video of her 37 months post-op. I love these little check-ins. It's like you talk to these people in real life, but like also you just love to watch the videos they make. Like it's the best. My eyes hurt. <laughs> I'm taking a break, drinking my water, and I got a meeting at four o'clock. So I have at least another like hour and a half worth of work. After that, I'm trying to chill out. Okay, I'm taking a break from work for a little bit like that meeting in particular just has a way of bringing me down, but I'm not attracting that. I'm attracting positivity. I'm attracting positivity. I am positive. I live a life of positivity and happiness. Woo, I feel better already, and I know I'm gonna feel better after I eat these pickles. <laughs> so as you know, I am alternate day fasting, but on my fasting days, I do allow myself pickles and jello if I need it. But on a day like today, I felt my stomach rumbling. I am over it. I just want to enjoy some salty, spicy, pickly goodness. So that's what I'm going to do. And you know, I got the hot pickles. I'm just getting a regular pickles. I get like spicy hot pickles. That's the only thing I know how to do. 
Oh my gosh. It's Vlogmas. Oh my Vlogmas! Amber, there's no S! It's Vlogmas! Like I just like the You got a real camera? Yes, ma'am, I do. Anything like with the like M A S on the end of the word, anything just like makes it more festive. Like I'm just oh literally, this God. is my favorite time of the year. I don't know, I have any idea why. Uh, I'm just happy you guys are here. Oh my God, miss. Amber, vlog miss. Oh, it's vlog miss. There you go. Oh, Good my. job. Your jacket's nice. I mean, the, the one we bought. I know, Black Amber. Friday. I know. Is that why you said it? No. Look at her at Auntie's beck and call, Madeline. Nope. Madeline, nope. come nope. back. No. Nope. To Auntie's beck and call. Come nope. back to Auntie's beck and call. Heel. Oh God. Heel. Heel. <laughs> <sighs> okay guys, it is almost time for me to fade. Uh, but before I do, I figure I end the night with a new Vlogmas tradition, uh, doing a Q&A. Uh, I asked you guys yesterday to ask me some questions in the comments of my Vlogmas Day 1 video, and I'd answer them here. Uh, and I got some good questions, so I'm gonna answer them. Thank you everyone who asked me a question. It means so much to me. Since it is the holiday season and you used to be in a choir, did you have any favorite Christmas carols or one that you did the solo? <laughs> no, the answer is no. I didn't really sing Christmas music with my choir, but I do love Christmas music. My favorite Christmas song or rendition of all time is Oh Holy Night by NSYNC of all people. <laughs> but a funny Christmas Carol story that still haunts me to this day. When I was like eight or nine years old, for some reason my mother had to work, probably because it's that time of year again. And so she dropped us off for our great aunt Diane to watch us. This is my grandmother's sister. And so my aunt Diane used to host Christmas at her house. So she was always cooking and playing Christmas carols and things like that. And on the radio, Whitney Houston's rendition of Do You Hear What I Hear came on. And my Aunt Diane like forced me to sit on her lap as she held my head to her bosom and like rocked back and forth <laughs> and sang Do You Hear What I Hear. And she had like the most distinct vibrato. So she was like, do you hear what I hear? <laughs> I'm still traumatized of that particular rendition of that song to this day. L. Brown asks, do you have a number weight goal? And if so, is it from a chart or your own personal comfort level? Um, you know, my goal really was around 155. But the thing is, like, I remember hitting 155 in July of 2018 and still not being anywhere near satisfied with my body. Like, I don't think I had enough muscle. I still had so much fat around my stomach. That's what I remember. So honestly, at this point, I'm not shooting for a number. I'm just like shooting for liking the way my body looks. Uh, and don't get me wrong, even at 178, I'm like, yeah, girl, here she comes. But like, I wanna definitely get back into the low 160s and then we'll reassess from there. But I definitely wanna put on more muscle than I had the last time I was at 155. Sing It says, what age did you appreciate being a twin? That is such an interesting question. I probably didn't really appreciate it till we were about maybe between 23 and 25. Right after college is when I moved to Minnesota for a year and really not having immediate access to my family was very, very jarring for me. Uh, I went to college in Lexington, which is still only like an hour away. I could be home whenever I needed to, but it was really one of the first years where we celebrated our birthdays separately, where she was in Louisville with my whole family, my mom, my grandmother, my aunts, and they had all made her a little cake and everything. And I was just sitting there in Minneapolis by myself, like, you know, they're singing happy birthday over the phone and I'm, I'm by myself. So that really was the first time that I appreciated, or really I was aware of like how separated we were, and that really made me appreciate her. Also, when she got deployed to Afghanistan, uh, once again, if you don't remember, my sister is a veteran, so she was in Afghanistan for like six months, and that was also not having immediate access to her, not even being able to talk to her whenever I wanted, because A, the time difference, and B, like, 
I don't, she was like air forcing, you know? Um, that was really weird. So, you know, I remember missing a phone call and being like super distraught <laughs> because I didn't know when I was gonna be able to talk to her again. So times like that really made me realize like how weirdly codependent and used to having each other we were. But we've been back together for years at this point. And I mean, we own a business together. So I pretty much see her at least four to five times a week. And as much as she gets on my nerves, uh, that really makes me happy. Okay. Whew, okay, and that's enough. Um, once again, thank you for those questions. That was really, really awesome. If you have anything that you want to know for tomorrow's video, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I might pick your question for tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to bed. Tomorrow is an eating day, and boy, am I excited. So, <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good morning, basically. <laughs> when you're seeing this, I will talk to you tomorrow. Go Seahawks.